Thank you for tuning in to the third episode of our Thriving Together series. We're working at BevCam with the Senior Center, the COA, to, to kind of bring things about neighborhood and about working together for people who are older, for senior citizens. I am fortunate today to be with two women who are 10 years older than me. They're each 87, I'm only 77, and I have Avis, my friend and neighbor who I've known for decades, and also with me is June Brown, who I've known for about a week because I was invited to an eclipse watching party at her house. So June, will you tell us a little bit about how that party came to be? Well, I'm, I moved into a, a new area in Beverly coming back after being away from Beverly for many years into Sedna. And I decided to do something to get the members and of the com community together. And so I thought I'd have a showing a party. And it was wonderful. I invited all the, put, we made a brochure and an invitation and we sent it out to all the members of the community. <clears throat> and the tell new- me, Tell me, <clears throat> what community was that? It's called Sedna. And it's right by the Beverly Sa uh, Salem Bridge with two new units there, two white units. I'm sure you've all passed it right by. Take a look behind Rowan's. It used to be behind Rowan's, and it's wonderful. It's right on the river, and there's a beautiful river walk, and I'm so excited to be back in Beverly where my roots are. And so I got this group together, and we have in the building on the rooftop a beautiful viewing spot to see the eclipse of the moon, of the sun. What was it, the sun or the, the whatever? Sun. <laughs> it was great. And we had about 30 people, and the people that we have new uh, managers of the units that just started and they have offered to help and asked us, you know, they'll do things for us. They brought food and glasses and they want to help and get the community together. That's, that's their goal. We never had that before. And it's, it was wonderful. We, people brought very um, ingenious devices to watch with boxes to look through and, and collinges and glasses. It was a good party and everybody brought some food. And it was just a good time, and we're going to continue it. Yeah, they put me in charge, of course, to right. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it's nice to be back in Beverly. Thank you. Thank you, June. So I happen to be there because we have a mutual friend who lives in the condo complex who invited me to, to, a, to attend. It was wonderful. One of the things I remember is that one of the people there was, I believe she was a elementary school teacher, so she had a box that you could look into and see the eclipse portrayed there, something she uses with her elementary school oh, classes. Yeah. So we, we had different ways of seeing the eclipse. I especially appreciated it because I was going to go to the beach in Beverly to, to watch the eclipse, and I think just the day, that day, my our mutual friend mm -hmm. said she was going to June's rooftop party, <laughs> and so she invited me, and what the, um, what, I was very happy to be there. And I am a strong proponent of active women, w women who are vibrant and alive in the world, and who who work with their neighbors, who like to get together with their neighbors. So that's a perfect introduction to my long-term, <laughs> long-time friend and neighbor, Avis Thomas. So, Avis, where should we start? Um, maybe start by talking about the Kiva group that you initiated 20 years ago. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, the G Kiva group is um, is a group that. Over, over the internet um, lends to third world countries, uh, third world people in third world countries, um, people who perhaps are trying to get a cow or sell some artisan work 
or uh, seeds for uh, farm farming, and uh, you can lend to them through through Kiva uh, in increments of twenty five dollars up to whatever twenty five fifty seventy five. Um, it all started when um, my friend Linda, who is no longer with us, uh, and I were walking my dog. <laughs> and I was telling her about how I had heard about this group called Kiva. And this was in 2009. And um, she said, you know, we could do that. <laughs> and. Um, so we thought about it a little bit, and we, we planned it out and asked neighbors, many of them dog walkers that I, we knew. <clears throat> and um, it got, our first meeting was on um, sometime in January in 2009. And the idea was we would lend some money. We would collect $5 from each person. And we would each person would bring uh, food for a potluck, and we would get on the uh, the uh, website and lend money, and it worked beautifully. <laughs> um, they show a picture of of the person who was trying to borrow money, and tell a little bit about the history, whether she's how old she is and when she's what she's going to do to. Um, to, with the money to, to uh, support her family or whatever. Um, and then you decide whether you want to, to lend to, those, to that person. And uh, so we had our five dollars each. We put it all together, and I think we made maybe three loans. <laughs> right, right, that first time. Yeah. So one of the things I remember about this is mm -hmm and I don't think I was aware of it before that, in third world countries, and maybe this is true in all countries, for people with very little money, it's very difficult to get a loan, even a loan for $500 or $1,000. If they want to start or keep a business going, mm. they have very limited resources for that. But for us, to lend $25 or $50 or $75 could make a huge difference in those people's lives. Exactly. And it's, it's, it's so much easier for us right. to get together and, and uh, scrape up the money <laughs> and, and uh, send it off. It is a loan. It is not a, a charitable gift. These people pay back uh, the loan <clears throat> to the Kiva group, and that group sends information to us as to whether uh, we want to take that money back, which we never do, um, or r roll it over into the next loan. So we meet two every two months or so, and um, the price has gone up to ten dollars, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, that's fine, so has everything else going up. Um, and um, our, our modest food has become really wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, and we've all become good friends. Yeah. Um, and it's gone on, as I said, since 2009. Um, yeah. yeah, and when we started, we had no idea whether this was going to be a one-time thing. We, yeah. we just had no idea. And so one of the things I really appreciate in Avis is that she got, she got this going. So it's about a dozen neighbors. That's what I was going yeah. to ask. It's, there have people, it's not a been, lot. Some people that have left, but more people have joined. Right. And um, Do you your have husband to... joined after a while. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Do you have to be in the neighborhood to join? No. Oh. <laughs> No. We've got one couple from Hamilton. Yeah. Wenham? Wenham. Wherever. Wenham. 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 Hamilton. Yeah, it's Wenham. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and we have had people from, I think, Salem, uh, but mm -hmm. most of us are from Beverly. Right. 
but we certainly would welcome anybody who, who wants to make the trip. Well, but we do, we do consider, so we did not meet during most of COVID. No. Uh, when we could not meet outside. We were, mm -hmm. we were conscious of that during that period when we were all conscious of We that. did do some online, uh, Zoom. Right, but that um, wasn't as much fun. No, it wasn't. Uh, never and is. we also <laughs> met in, in the summer uh, in, in somebody's backyard. Right. Um, so that helped. And I remember at least one meeting in a garage. And that's it, right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Perhaps that's right. it was raining. I don't remember. <laughs> so we were, we were creative in that. Yes. And so one of the things I'd like to bring up is it would be very easy for anybody who's watching us to start their own Kiva group. One of the things we were conscious of is we wanted to have a small enough number that we could meet in people's homes mm. so we didn't have to have a hall. Yeah. So the, the idea of it being neighbors in somebody's home, that I think that that was an important part of it. So I, I would like to encourage other people. It's kiva.org. Go there and you'll see the variety of things you can do. And I think their slogan is something like, give a loan, change a life. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And that's we're good. conscious of having an opportunity to use the privilege that we have mm -hmm. to, to change other people's lives. Oh, that's yeah. good. And we could so. mention that um, this goes through certain organizations in the country that you're lending to. And those organizations are rated with a one to four star, I think, uh, rating as to being being dependable and um, and more or less <clears throat> uh, encouraging uh, people to, to pay back. Uh, the overwhelming majority of whom we've lended to have paid back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And occasionally someone does not. We receive information about that yeah. so that we know. And that helps us make decisions in the future about who we're going to lend to and, and, and how much. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. We decide in the increments as to whether we're going to make a small loan. And a lot of that depends on how, um, how much the people are asking for. And... Um, how much we feel that um, it would be a, a, a good, safe loan. Right, yeah. right. And what, so what, another piece of information that we always have is how long they've been trying to get the money, and there's a limit. And I don't know, is it a month or two months that they have to raise the money? I think it's two months, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, for, for example, if we're looking at somebody who's raising $800, and they only need another hundred, we love it when we can give them that last hundred and know they're going to be able to go with what they, what they need to do. Mm. We, we love it when we do that. So, oh. so let, let, do you have anything else that you think is important to say about Kiva? Uh, how much Kiva itself perhaps has grown. When we first started, there was very limited choice as to where we were going to be able to lend. And now they're all over, all over the world, really. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, you can lend to artisans. You can lend to farmers. Somebody wanted to buy a motorcycle to deliver whatever. <laughs> and uh, we all discuss what uh, what the pros and cons of lending to this particular person or group. <laughs> and everybody has their say. And uh, it's great fun. It's a, it's, it's, it makes a fun evening, really. Yeah. Yeah, that mm. sounds like wonderful things yeah. that you're doing. Yeah. Just terrific. But there's other ways that the seniors and older people can get together with groups. Like you can start a book club. We've had a book club for 50 years, and now mm. we're seniors, and we're still meeting. <laughs> 15, and that's 50 fun. Years? Yes, 50 years we've Fabulous. had a book. Yes, and now we're all 
half of them are gone, but we're still meeting. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, they, they, there's wonderful activities in the um, senior citizens in Beverly. It's a terrific organization. They do a lot of good things, and there's lots of activities. And I, when I was younger, I said. The senior center, I'd never go to that. Well, now I'm involved. I go to exercise class, and I started a Spanish. I got a teacher for them to teach Spanish, and my friend is teaching Spanish there. And a lot of different activities we do. And I think there's lots of things that we don't necessarily raise money, but we're keeping active. That's the important yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think every senior... It's your attitude. You gotta stay young by having a good attitude and keep busy. Oh my goodness, is that somebody's in my phone? Go ahead. Can you ignore it? Yes, I can. Don't don't even touch oh, it. Oh well, I. It. <laughs> but you can't hear it, can you? No. I, I can, but it's, like, oh, well, it's way in the background. Yeah. I said, oh well, all right, that's yeah. I shut it off. <laughs> I don't hope they don't answer. But anyway, <clears throat> that's all, and I'm keeping very active too. I used to be a travel agent, and I got wonderful trips from all kinds of, oh, God, it's, oh, oh God. Can you hear that? Let me just shut it off. No, no. just leave Can it alone. Can you hear leave it? It was you calling me, isn't it? Leave, leave it alone. Leave oh, it alone. all right. So, well, you know, um, like ahead. you, I can remember saying, Senior center, that's for old people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but then they offered a TED Talk a couple of years ago, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I had seen TED Talks on the TV, and I, I liked them. So that's, all right, I'll go down and, and try it out, you know. So uh, that's what got me in there was the TED Talks. And now I... Uh, and what, 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 one of the advantages of going to the senior center for a TED Talk is after the TED Talk, you have an opportunity to talk about it. That's why they do. Rather than just yeah. watching it in isolation. Yeah. So that's right. one of the things I love. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have a discussion group afterwards. Yeah, I, yeah. I was introduced to TED Talk on national and the public radio station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. terrific. Right. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. Yeah. There's lots of things that you can do as yes, senior citizens, I've you know. Only limited exploration. I've got to keep look, looking at things. I've got to the movies now uh, that they have. Um, there's had been a couple of really good ones. Um, and I keep thinking maybe I should go down for coffee or tea hour sometime. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. I done well, that. I have four friends, four or five friends that we all became widows at the same time within mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. So we, we get together. Like this morning we met, we meet for coffee. Uh -huh. And then I kind of tried to start a little club that I said each one of you was going to present a topic of a conversation. We have one, one woman <clears throat> is, a, is a psychologist and, 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 you know, different various mm -hmm expertise and we started it and it's fun she, she gave a nice talk and next time she said she wants to talk about the aging process so, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah so it, it's fun we meet in different houses and oh. uh, yeah mm -hmm. so that you got to think of things to do and you get do. people together it's so right. important yeah. you know and, and, and you know wait a minute we have some young people that join us and this one woman she says, I love coming to your breakfast meeting. She says, I love being with the older people, you know? <laughs> no, it's true. It yeah. is true. And that's how you stay young. Mm -hmm. you get to know oh, young yeah. people. Yeah. It's right. true, like 10 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I've become conscious of, more conscious of recently, is that we all have biases that we don't even know about. And sometimes those biases stay with us even when we, we would think we don't believe it. So one of the biases we have is against aging, right? right, right. So Nobody all, wants all to. All of us, when we, were, when, when we were, even in our 50s, we thought being part of the senior center was something that was for old people. Mm -hmm. And so why did we think that? Mm -hmm. It's because we have this, I'm going to call it an underlying belief or an underlying bias, that older people don't have value or have decreased value or decreased intelligence or whatever. And I think part of that is part of how we observe the world. Even though 
it's not a reflection of our reality. That's right. Look at this. Yep. I'm surrounded by two <laughs> women in their upper 80s who are vibrant and who care about life and who are enjoying life and who are changing things by getting things going That's where right. other people get together. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. <coughs> Even presidential candidates think at <laughs> your <laughs> 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 age. Right. You're still <laughs> able to run a country. Exactly. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> we're not going to get into politics. No, we're not. Well, but <laughs> although I'm, I'm just going to say, separately, each of us may be involved in politics, that's not what we're going to talk about no. here. <laughs> but it's shame so when people have right. a bad attitude or someone that's older and can't do it, you know? Right. I know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, so one of the things that, I, when I was at an exercise class at the Senior Center last week, I was reminded of the labyrinth that's there in their big meeting room. I've forgotten what the name of the room is. But it's fabulous. And so it's just occurred to me that those of us who are working on this BevCam Senior Center coalition, I'm going to say, um, we, we need to have a day when we meet at the labyrinth and walk the labyrinth because it's very meditative. Yeah. I don't know how many of you have walked labyrinths. I happen to be a lover of labyrinths. Mm -hmm. It's not a maze. You, you, you make no choices. You, it looks relatively small, but you keep walking and walking and walking, and you reach the center where you pause, and then you slowly walk back, and the path is longer than it looks, and it's very meditative. Yeah. So I think that that's something that we should do. There's lots mm -hmm. of ways you can meditate. The, uh, the senior citizen has yoga. Yoga? Yoga? Yes, that's, mm -hmm. that's good. Right. Yeah. right. Just keep busy. That's it. And your <laughs> attitude is so important. I that's know. true. My four friends that we have this group, every day I get a call, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. And this one kind of tells me how many miles she's walked each day. <laughs> and I get so jealous. So, <laughs> But you got to keep walking or do something. And I, I used to be very active. And now all I can do is play ping pong. And I just started playing. Can you believe it at my age? I'm playing <laughs> ping pong. It's fun. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, it is good. I'm I know. Going, okay, I'm going to have to start ping pong. And, yeah. we, and I know, Ava, sometimes I've bumped into you at the Senior Center mm -hmm. for TED Talks or for movies. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember what else, but there, there's because there's so many things going on there. Mm -hmm. what, what else do you do at the Senior Center? I'm trying to think. Well, I went to a, I believe it was called a diversity feast or something like that. Uh -huh. um, and, and it served all kinds of African foods. Oh. And um, there was a native African, I don't remember which country, musician who came and played. And um, there were various people who talked. It seems to me they had a, some sort of um, little documentary or something that went with it, too. It was a, a big meeting thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, aside from having some delicious food, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was very interesting uh, all around. And the, uh, not only what they presented, but the people that were there. I, I sat with a, a man and his wife who I didn't know at all. I just happened to sit at, her, at the seat there, at the table. And he had been a, an ambassador to Belgium, I think he said. Um, and he was now retired. And his wife was Malaysian. And uh, they, they were very, both very interesting people. At the Beverly Council on Aging. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. And I go to Claire, helps out with my iPhone and helps me with that. She's there on Wednesdays. Do you go to her too? I, no, I haven't, but I've sent yeah. my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's so many wonderful things. They send out an, uh, a letter every month yep. that, with all the activities. Mm -hmm. You'd be amazed of the activities that they do. They do mm -hmm. a good job. They do. And, and, and the other thing is my hobby is bridge. And I even play bridge in Middleton. 
and and they and if you sign up, you you and you can go to any senior center. Did you know that in any city? Yes, yes. But yes. you got to be Important sure to point. sign in so they'll get credit. Right. And so I right. played bridge there. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, contract hmm. bridge. Yeah. 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 And let me talk for a minute about getting credit. So the senior centers in Massachusetts are funded through Massachusetts funds, of course. So the the way they get funding, or at least one of the ways they get funding, is based on the number of people who show up. Oh. So sometimes I'm annoyed that I have to sign in. Yeah, <laughs> but it's important. Right? But it's really important because that's what channels the funding. That it, it, The Beverly Senior Center is so busy. There's oh. so many things going on mm. all of the time. And I want all of those to continue being funded, even though I'm not attending all of them. Yeah, they're good for other, everybody has different interests. And right, so, right. Yeah, the, the, the Beverly Center has a, a variety of what oh, goes on. It's it unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I started going, attending a writing class in Beverly many years ago. I don't remember how many years ago. And then it ended it when COVID started, and the teacher is from Hamilton or Wenham, and she now teaches online, so I continue going oh, to that class great. online, <laughs> and in the summer and when the weather's good, we sometimes will meet outside. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're writing a book, aren't you? I'm, I'm writing a book. Which I'm not going to talk about that right now, but thank you. I, uh, I'll pre if you pre-order it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but we, um, yeah, so I, th I think that point is Im important so that those of us who get annoyed with the sign in process <laughs> understand the reasoning behind it. It's really important. We, we want to keep supporting the senior center. Yes, it's very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's time for us to sign off. So I am Carol Rain from thriving together with my two lovely guests, June Brown, Avis Thomas. Thank you both for being with me. Um, tune in again. This is episode three of Thriving Together. Thank you for having us. Yes. Enjoyed it, it very was much. very fun. Yeah. It went very quickly. And you called me in the middle of it, you know. I don't know why I got that phone call. <laughs>